Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to my first APB video. Alright, so if you don't know, which you probably should buy now, the APB's been out for quite a while. The APB is a cops and robbers style MMO. So I'm gonna be doing just like a quick little guide on it, how to get started in the game. Um so yeah, I hope you enjoy the video guys. Yo, how are we doing guys? So, alright, when you get into the game after you've made your account, um, you're going to get into the main menu, which is here. And it's going to, your characters are going to be here. Obviously, you're not going to have one to start off with. So, you're going to want to create a new character. Alright, the thing I love about this game is the customization. The customization is amazing. But yeah, alright, so when you get started, you're going to get to choose between a criminal and an enforcer, which is a police officer. Obviously both have the benefits, both both have the negatives. Um right, so the benefits of the enforcer is obviously Right, so you get to use like stun weapons, you get to arrest people, rank up your cop rank, um and just stop like obviously that's you know that's what an enforcer does, but that's the bonus, obviously you get to use the stun weapons and arrest people. The bonus to a criminal is you can it's a lot easier to make money i'm not gonna lie most people make money on criminals like they have a secondary character for making money even most cops have a secondary character for making money because if we're criminal you can literally smash into nearly any shop window you can mug any npc steal any car and just go sell it now as an enforcer you can stop people like catch them in the act kill them take or kill them or arrest them uh, take what they have stole, stolen, take it back to the police station and get a reward. Um, or, you obviously you have your missions where it's enforcers fighting criminals. Uh, your mi usual missions, team deathmatch, uh, domination, um, you know, just stuff like that. But anyway, we're going to get started. I'm going to make a criminal. I already, I already have an enforcer. My enforcer is nearly max level. Um, so I'm just going to make a criminal for the sake of this video. I'm going to get through this as fast as possible. I'll probably speed this process up to be fair because we just want to get to the start of the game. Okay, this guy, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love him. He will do. He's perfect. That afro and everything. So we'll call this guy, um, I don't know. Call him Guide. Uh, guide Life. <laughs> there we go. There is uh, Guide Life. Right, so at the start, would you like to enter a action district to start the tutorial? No, if you choose not to enter the district, the tutorial will be available. Will still be available to you. Alright, so I'd, cl I'd click no here, um, honestly, because the, the tutorial is in game anyway. So if you click no, it's going to bring you up to the server list. Alright, so you can pick financial, waterfront, you get two fight clubs, and as you can see here, prototype A, prototype B. This is like stuff that they're on about putting into the game and people can test it here. And then you've got your social district, which is where people customize their characters, customize clothing, customize cars, use the marketplace for buying and selling stuff. And you know, like going to looking for groups, looking for clans, stuff like that. That is social district. So I wouldn't recommend clicking on one of these and then clicking join districts. It's not a good idea because it can put you in a bad server. It can put you in a server with barely any players and it can also put you in a server which is just out of your league. So the best thing to do is click advanced at the top here. All right, now if I click on enforcers, it's just gonna bring, the server's dead, it is, it is 2 a.m. right now. So through the day, most of these servers are full, but you know, at this time it is bound to be dead, like 100%. So, this game does have a ranking system. There's green for your newbies, bronze, silver, and gold. So at the start, I'm going to recommend jumping into a bronze server because the bronze servers will be full um, if you're playing on midday anyway. You're playing, like, I'm only on it this time because I'm recording. I'm actually usually finished record, finish my video in bed by now, but whatever. But anyway, let's skip this part. So we are in the game, contact referral, you have been referred to double B, that is my contact. Now you're going to get hit with a lot of stuff right at the start, you know, you're going to be a little bit confused to be honest. Um, but anyway, let me just give you a quick rundown of everything. You've got your mailbox, just 
12 cup press f you got all your mail here uh, a lot of this stuff is stuff that i've got from the um from the armors market the armors market is where you buy stuff for real money um so i get it on my new characters as well um, you've got your joke ammunition this is where you can buy ammunition or if you press i it will show you your inventory where you can change weapons you know change your pistol change your rifle change your character mods as you unlock them um, your graffiti <coughs> graffiti themes your equipment your vehicle like as you unlock more vehicles but anyway yeah so right now you're in you're gonna see an NPC. Right, I've got one here. I think there's just a one. Oh no, I've got another one over here. All right, you can walk up to these. Press F, contact. All right, and she's going to basically every time you do a mission, you are going to get a bit of XP, and you're going to level these up. And when you get them to a certain level, max like max level, level five. So when I get this character to level five. Um, I will then go on to the next contact, then I'll work on that one, then on to the next contact, and on the next contact. And as you're leveling these contacts up, you'll be unlocking new gear, new cars, new guns, new clothing, customizing, stuff like that. The, like I said, the customization in this game is insane. It's one of my favorite, well, not one, it is my favorite as aspect of the game. But anyway, you want to look for this. You can look on your mini map, you can see like a little car, or you can look for the uh, P. You run down to the bottom one of these and these are what are going to spawn your car in spawn a vehicle just run up press f he's busy you guys send a vehicle this beastie car <laughs> it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful you gotta love it what a machine but anyway all right so what I'd, what I'd probably do if I were you is just go through some of the buttons on your keyboard. Like you've got you here, groups and friends. Press J, character info. K is to ready up. Obviously, yeah, you press K, you ready up. When it's ready, you'll get into a mission. You can hold tab. That'll show you your opponents. You can see what weapons they've got, what equipment they're using. You can see your team. You can talk to your team. Slash T. Group slash G district slash d um another way to do that is by pressing what is it f9 and that'll bring up all the different chats in the game so we're just going to quickly drive over to one of these missions as you can see it says guard b and c so i'm guessing they've already got a so obviously our objective for this mission is to go and guard these areas and make sure the criminals don't do what they've got to do if you want to know the story on what's actually happening, you can look in the top right hand corner. Enforcers have found information on some of the stores, illegal activities, and are headed to search their storage units. So they're going to they're going to search our storage units and we don't want that. So we've got to make sure we don't let them search our stuff. Right, you can climb over certain fences like these ones here. You can get anywhere on this game, it's brilliant. My aim though, that was terrible. This start right, so people consider this game to be quite pay to win. I honestly disagree with them. Your starting weapon, weapon is such a good gun. Like every assault, nearly every assault rifle in the game is a six shot, five or six shot kill. What is it, six shot? Alright, so this is a six shot. The AK is a six shot. Oh. Ooh. This guy knows, mate. This guy knows. Yeah, the AK is a six shot. You know, you'll see mo there's only one assault rifle that is a five shot, and that is the Intag Orsus. Is it Orsus? Ursus? Something like that. I have it on my main account. Um, you get them from Joker boxes, but they can be bought from players. We'll just try and get this guy. Alright, I'm rambling. This is going on a little bit longer than what I wanted it to, but. Alright, he knows I need to reload.
Gonna stay in cover, get his health a little bit, let our guy flank him. There we go. And we get the kill. Still managed to get the kill. Brilliant. Alright, so babysitting, complete one mission. Yeah, right, if we look up in the top left, we have an extra goal and it's to complete one mission. So I'm going to complete this mission for the sake of the video. I'm probably going to skip ahead a little bit though. Always tap fire with your assault rifles when they're more than like 30 meters away. Always tap fire. That's what's going to win you your matches. We've got one minute left on this mission. Oh yeah, when you're aiming down in sight, you can use E and Q to switch your shoulder and look around corners. Just seeing one guy over there. Oh, there he is, look. I don't think he knows where he is. Now he does. Easy, boys, easy. Seven seconds. Alright, so there is fall damage, but not from like this type of height. You're not going to take any damage from this. Alright, so there we go. We've got our contact up to level 2, level 3. Would like you to group. No, sorry. I'm only doing um, a tutorial video. Alright, so we just had a load of information there in the chat. If you look here, tutorial. You have completed the winner mission tutorial. You have completed the finishing mission tutorial. You have completed the winner mission with 1000 score tutorial. Alright, so we're going to have a look at the tutorial now. All you have to do to get your tutorial up is press T. When that comes up, there you go. Tutorial. So you have quite a few tasks in here to do. Uh, movement and action, which is sprint for 50 meters, jumping, crouching, kick a door. Male, you know, you just go through this. By the time you have finished the tutorial, you would have learned so much. Like, honestly, you'd learn so much about the game. Um, and at the end of it, it's going to let you pick a weapon that you can keep. A, per a permanent weapon, so you're going to be able to pick like an Entech, which is a AK-47 basically. Um, or a sniper, or some, you know, some other stuff. There's a couple of good things. Uh, it's, it's honestly up to you what you want to pick. I'd definitely test some stuff out first. If you go back to the contacts, let me just drive there real quick. Alright, so now we're back at his contacts. You know, you can talk to a contact here. Um, click buy. Sorry, I should have shown you this earlier. And you can buy look, a submachine gun, a shotgun, you know, stuff that you unlock. You know, there's grenade launchers, rocket launchers. Desert Eagle, M249, like they're not called these, but you know, I'm just saying like the names that I know them as. A couple more guns here, there's an MP5 there, that's 12. You know, there's loads of stuff you can buy, absolutely loads. Oh my god, they're free slot. Um, so definitely test some guns out before you pick your permanent one, because you don't want to pick it and then realise, oh no, I, you know, I, I didn't want this, I wanted the other gun. So be careful on what you pick. But anyway, that's uh, my quick guide on APB. I hope it helped. If people like this, people like, let me know in the comments if you want to see an advanced tutorial. Um, I'm going to be putting out some like weapon videos and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I made a little montage. I'll get that up now. But peace out, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. The many ways. I know exactly where it is.
Nice wall, like, yeah, cheers, buddy. More like in boys. Yo, Luke, how you doing? Watch this thing, buddy. Like one hit, I'm telling you now, he was one hit. 